the horse we're about to uh, look at is a uh, quarter horse, a reining horse that was um, shod to try to correct imbalance. We'll take a look at the shoes and then we'll take a look at how the horse moves in shoes and then we'll take a look at how he moves out of shoes and after he's been trimmed. Here we can see a wedge has been applied to the lateral side of the hoof and shortly we'll see what it looks like from behind so that you can see that the wedge is just to one side, the lateral side, to try to balance the horse. Here's a better view of uh, the wedge to the lateral side. It's on both the right and left hind. The right hind has a bit higher wedge. We'll now take a look at the foot uh, directly from the front and you can see that wedge to the lateral side. As we watch the horse move away from us we can see that the uh, left hind lands hard to the lateral side and then slides towards the center where the right lands and slides toward the center uh, and appears to be tilted, turned out. As he approaches us, it's, it's a little difficult making the turn, but when he comes towards us, we can see the front feet land to the lateral side. Now let's look at it as he walks away without the shoes. You can see that the slide is reduced, and the foot, particularly the right, doesn't seem to be tilted or turned out anywhere near as much as it was with the shoe. We still have imbalance in that left hind as it lands to the lateral side. Uh, we can address that with the trim, and now as the horse comes towards us, we can see how it lands to the lateral side on uh, both the front and the hind as it walks. Now we'll take a look at the before trim on this hind and here is the opposite hind complete um, with the trim completed and here is the left hind and the right hind. So we're looking at the right hind now uh, with the trim applied. We've reduced uh, quite a bit of the dubbing. Now let's watch the horse walk now that both hind feet have been trimmed. You can see that both feet are landing flat. Quite even actually. And we don't have anywhere near the slide. Here it is at the trot. It's landing flat footed. Not turned out. We'll watch the horse come towards us so that we can see. We haven't trimmed the front feet yet but the back foot we can see is landing quite flat. Let's watch him again and now as he goes I want you to listen uh, to the beat or the gate. As he returns, as he comes back, uh, we can watch the way he's landing. Again, we haven't done the fronts yet so uh, that'll be on our next move. Again, when he moves away from us on this next pass um, I want you to listen carefully for the beat. What we heard was a, a good beat there, a one-two beat, solid, both hind feet. What we're going to do now is take a look at uh, both of the hind feet for balance now that they've both been completed. Uh, you'll note that the coin air band is parallel to the ground on both hind feet and we have a nice straight line from the coin band to the ground. Let's go around uh, to the other side and look straight on the hoof so we can look and look at that coronary band and see how we're doing. Uh, you can see that the uh, dish has been removed and that the foot, uh, with the exception of the drop at the coronary band at the heels, uh, we, we've achieved pretty good balancing. We've done it without using a wedge. Uh, that's important here. Um, before we had a severe wedge to the lateral side and it's so slight that the balance that we can see at the coronary band there. Um, it's very slight. We're going to take a look at our horse now that all four feet have been trimmed. We note that the feet are landing relatively flat. We're not getting a lot of slide. Uh, you notice that the feet are not moving towards the center any longer when they hit and they don't slide towards our center line. When we look at the front feet now, we'll see at the walk there, they're landing 
flat, though he is a, a bit turned out. Um, we've compensated, we've tried to make up for some uh, rasping that was done on the feet uh, the best we could. Here we can see he's moving quite nicely, landing flat on all four feet. We'll watch him coming towards us for the last time here, and I want you to note uh, how nice and flat those front feet land at the trot. There we go. And we got a nice moving horse. We're going to go one more time here, and we'll take a look at the entire horse as he goes away. We get a nice movement. We look at the hips. He's moving fairly straight. We've got a little bit of a hike in the, in the uh, left hind, but that maybe he was quite sore from the uh, from the wedges and the, a long trailer ride. Uh, but we can see he's moving sound, relatively sound, and we can look at the nice footfall that we have 